Hey guys, welcome to a new tutorial series. So this time we're actually taking a look at the first person instead of the third person. Um, this is mainly because a lot of people have been asking since having a look at my personal project, how I did all the movement um, and the gun movement and everything. So I figured I would just create a little tutorial um, and show you guys how I did it. There's a link in the description to my personal project if you haven't yet checked it out. And also if you have any issues, feel free to join um, our Discord and we'll do our best to help you out. Uh, so link for that is also in the description. All right, so getting into the project. So I do have um, version 2020.2.1. Uh, so don't worry if your starting scene looks a bit different. I'm actually just gonna begin by pretty much deleting everything. So um, we'll actually add some packages first though. So the packages I'm gonna be using, uh, if I can find package manager here. So that's just under window and package manager. And I didn't mean to click that one. Just close that one. <laughs> Great start. All right, so what you wanna do is under packages here, you wanna change that to the Unity registry. Um, and then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add in the input system. Um, so there's a link in the description for a more advanced tutorial on the input system. Uh, so I'm not going to go into too much detail with that. All right, so once it's uh, downloaded and installed, it's basically going to ask if you want your project to switch from the old Unity input system to the new Unity input system. It will restart Unity, so don't panic too much. <laughs> Okay, and once it's done, it should put you back exactly where you are. So the next package we're gonna add um, is actually called Pro Builder. And uh, we'll use this to basically uh, build out our scenes and test our controller on stairs, etc. Uh, so I'm just gonna click on that and click install. Okay, once that's installed, we'll just check no errors, so we'll just clear away this warning. Um, okay, so now I'm going to actually go through and delete quite a lot of stuff. So the stuff I don't think we need. So I'm going to actually delete the readme, tutorial info. Um, I'm going to leave the settings. We'll delete what's inside scripts, um, but we'll keep the scripts folder. All right, the scenes, we're gonna keep the sample scene, uh, but we're gonna go ahead and delete quite a lot of the lighting data in a minute, uh, mainly because we're gonna delete everything inside the scene. Uh, I'm gonna leave the default resources, um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete the everything inside the art folder, but I'm gonna keep the art folder, and same goes for everything inside the animations folder, uh, but we're gonna keep the animations folder. Okay, so your project should look something like this. Um, and our scene should effectively be broken because we've deleted everything now. So let's go ahead and clear everything inside our scene now. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the controller it gave us, all of these, and I'm literally just going to keep the lighting. And I'm going to open this up. And the only thing I really want to keep from the lighting is this directional light sun. And then so we'll click and drag that out and then delete lighting. So all we have is our directional light. Um, and I'm just going to put a cube in here. So I'm going to go. Uh, game object and 3D object and cube. I'm just going to um, take a look at it. I'm going to press F on it just to make sure it's all still okay. Um, so I'm just going to hide gizmos for now. Um, and by the looks of it, it looks like the lighting is okay. We need to add a camera in here. So the way to do that is you can either right click here and just create a camera, or of course you can just use your game object uh, here and then create a camera here. It's effectively the same menu, so no real difference. So now we have our camera. I actually uh, want our camera to see what uh, my scene camera is looking at. So I'm just going to click on the camera. I'm going to go game object and align with view. So it'll align that game object with my scene view. So if I go over to game now, you'll see it is exactly the same. With just a lot of exposure while that loads in. <laughs> cool. Alright, so that's exactly what we want. Um, so we've got our camera, we've got our cube, um, and everything's working. So I'm just going to save that and um, I'm going to hit play just to make sure that everything still works. There we go. Okay, everything still works the way we want it to work, um, which means we can continue, which is good. So what we're going to do first things first is we'll create another folder inside our assets folder and we're literally just going to call that um, defaults. 
Um, and I'm going to keep my default materials and everything in here. So uh, our first default material that we need. So we're going to create and material is going to be um, just going to prefix it with mat underscore. And we will call this pro builder. Cool. So every time we create a pro builder object, I want it to use this material. Um, so for now, I'm just going to make it um, white. And then for base map, if you click the little circle thing next to it or double click the box, then inside here. So the texture we're looking for is actually the one that comes with ProBuilder. So by default, I think Unity hides the plugins um, textures. So just untick this little uh, closed eye here um, to show all the hidden packages as well. Um, and then what we're looking for is called, I think it's grid, not grod, grid. Yep, so we'll use uh, grid box default. Um, and then we'll close that off. And then you can see down here, it's just using the pro builder grid. Cool. And then, so now we j just need to tell pro builder to obviously use that new material. So we go edit and we'll go project settings. And this is huge, what's going on? <laughs> Let's make this a little bit smaller. Okay, I am in the completely wrong place. So it's not project settings, it's uh, preferences, which is why <laughs> I couldn't find it. So that's just edits and preferences. Um, and then inside here, we'll go over to Pro Builder. And then here you can see um, we can uh, put in a default material. So we'll just go ahead and click and drag the one we made inside here. Cool. All right, so don't be alarmed by the way I have this set up. Uh, I think Unity defaults to the two column layout. Um, I'm on the one column layout. Obviously, whichever one's easier for you, just use it. There isn't really a specific one you should use. Uh, it's just down to personal preference. Um, so let's begin. So I'm gonna delete this cube here. Um, and what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna go to uh, Tools, Pro Builder and Pro Builder window. So with the Pro Builder, uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail with this because I was actually thinking about doing a tutorial later on on Pro Builder. Uh, but what we want to do is we want to create our base uh, floor. So I'm just going to go ahead and click the little plus. Uh, we'll create a cube, um, and it looks like by default it's given us 100 by 100, um, and it looks like it is one high. So actually, that's probably exactly what I need. So I'm just going to click Build and then close that off. Uh, so we now have our cube. So the reason I like this is because obviously it has the, the grid lines, so it just makes it nice and easy to tell our player speed and everything. Alright, so the next thing is our actual player. So we'll go ahead and create a 3D object and pop in our uh, capsule. Just make sure he's above the ground. Um, and then inside our capsule, uh, okay, it's already got our capsule collider, which is good. Um, I'm actually going to untick the, actually let's leave the mesh render in there for now. Okay, so he's a little bit, little bit uh, chunky, so let's turn Gizmos back on for a minute. Um, and what we'll do is we'll just change his uh, radius a little, so we'll just make him a little bit skinnier. Like that. That'll be alright. Cool. Alright, so he's nice and ready. Um, so in terms of scripts, uh, we'll create a folder for our character. And inside this, uh, we'll just create a script. So I'm going to prefix all my scripts with SCR underscore. Um, just makes it a little bit easier for me. Obviously, you don't need to do that. Um, so I'm going to call that um, character controller. What I'm going to do, I'm going to click on the capsule. Um, and just up here, I'm just going to rename it to player. And then I'm going to click and drag our character controller script onto it. Um, so our character controller is actually just going to use the actual character controller. So let's just make sure we have character controller on there as well. Um, and if I click the little meatball menu, I can move it down below the character controller. Okay, so we've got our capture collider, character controller, and our character controller script. All right, so that's it for this uh, episode. Um, so basically, we just set everything up, and in the next one, we're actually going to get things working. Um, so like I said, if you have any questions or anything, feel free to join the Discord, uh, link in the description. And also wanted to thank everyone for uh, over 400 subscribers. So we're actually uh, building the channel pretty quick, which is pretty, pretty cool to see. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.